The practice is one of pure knowledge. Knowledge constitutes or composes the actual inquiry. A mere thought of inquiry is not the inquiry. It's a deeper knowledge. It is, therefore, not a practice of mental modes, mental states, currents of thought, or even an absence of thought content. All of that is transient. It evaporates as soon as the mind changes states. Knowledge is permanent. Even now, you know your existence in a profound way, which does not require you to think about it. And this knowledge of existence does not fade even when there are thoughts of other things. The imagination that there are other things seems to veil the fullness of that knowledge. But mere thought, or placement of mental attention, is not at the same level and does not constitute any difficulty. Is there anything solid constituting thought? That which shines, knowing all the thoughts, is not impeded by the thoughts not bound by the thoughts. It remains inexhaustible. It's not depleted and it does not decay, no matter how many thoughts occur. And when thoughts subside and there are no thoughts, such as in deep dreamless sleep, the same consciousness still exists without diminishing in the least. For the wise yogi with an introspective mind, thoughts offer no obstacle. If they appear, they merely prompt a profound inquiry. If they don't appear, the essence of that inquiry still shines. So the objective portion of the thought merely points out everything you're not, while that which knows, ever knows, remains as you are. True knowledge of yourself shines when the objectified portion is abandoned, for it is only a product of ignorance. <laughs>